Good morning, Rosie. How are you? Did you have a good sleep? Good morning. It is 6.15 in the morning and I'm going to be heading out today to um, to the park here at the bay in Nanaimo. Uh, I live really, I'm really lucky. I can actually just look out my window to see what the conditions are like and then double check with Windy app if today's going to be a good day. And it is looking really calm out there right till about 11 o'clock. So probably just going to go out for about three hours and uh, do some trolling and yeah, maybe get a rockfish as well. Here's all in. Away we go. Just a little public service announcement if I can just chime in really quickly for those of you guys watching. Um, I see a lot of people out here kayaking without life jackets and I'm, I'm telling you even on like I'm, I consider myself a pretty strong swimmer but you can never really underestimate the power of the ocean just based on the coldness and the current. Um, it may look totally flat calm and safe on the uh, surface but even like three, four feet deep, it could be a whole different story. And a lot of people aren't used to like how cold the ocean can get. So please, um, if you're out there, especially out here in, in Hammond Bay and uh, you're an avid kayaker, wear your life jacket. Yeah, you got nothing to save you and you can things can change like so quickly. Anyways, that's enough on that. All right, let's get fishing. Phew. So to start the session off, I'm going to go with the uh, green flasher on a no banana spoon. Um, yeah, this guy here. Little give spoon. This one, honestly, this was this has been a killer on the water this year. Actually, last year too. Um, anytime I put anything else on and I don't get a bite within like 10, 15 minutes. I get all paranoid and I switch back to the uh, no bananas so it's uh yeah it works really good and um a lot of guys report back on it I will maybe try a uh a hoochie today on a shorter leader but um so I've got that no bananas hooked up to a it's a bit of a long leader a seven foot leader um and then my hoochie is on a three foot leader so we'll try the two different lures and setups. Uh, this is my new Edmondson um, trolling rod on a matching Captain Savvy Edmondson um, trolling or trolling reel on the matching rod. It's got a really nice comfortable cork handle. I really like the cork handle versus the rubber or plastic. It just feels feels great on the uh, on the hands when you're pulling in that fish. And I know this sounds kind of crazy. You also get a better feel for the fish too once it's on. So, okay. So here's my setup. I've got the Scotty Lake Troller on a hundred feet of line. And the nice thing about these Hobies is that they have these built-in rod holders. So that trolling rod, actually it's it's really nice because that whole one side of my kayak is super clean. I don't have a whole lot of a lot of stuff on there. And there's the rod.
<laughs> he just jumped. Oh, nice fish. It's a coho. Oh yeah, it's a coho. Please be a hatchery. Oh, it's a wild one. Try it again. Hey, here we go. Let's go for round two. Yeah, we got another one, guys. We got another one. Here. here we go. Close the clip. Oh, this one feels bad. Small spring, small spring. Yeah. Oh, good fish. Let him okay, we'll let him off. We'll let him off. Okay. All right, oh, that's two, two, two quick ones. Two quick ones. So maybe the bite's on right now. Pliers. Too bad, that's good. Right under the gum. This is exactly where you kind of want to get them. We'll just release him from the net here. Get him out. Oh. Get him to stress you out, pal.
it is busy out here. I haven't seen it this busy on the water in a long time, especially where I'm at. Normally, there's not that many people there. Good to see people out having fun, enjoying the summer while it lasts. I got something on the jig here. It's been a while since I caught one of these. We'll let it go. We'll let you off the hook, buddy. Fun to catch. We'll let you go and let you grow. when you have these really long leaders. Oh, he's nice. He's a nice fish. Whoa, jeez! <laughs> Where did these waves come from? That's a... Oh, he's a keeper. It's a hatch. He's a keeper. That's a hatch. Cool, cool guys. Okay. Oh! Yeah, he's a hatch coho. He's a hatch coho. Yes, sir. Make sure he doesn't have an adipose. Yeah. That's a keeper. That's a keeper coal hole. Woo! Yo! Yes! All tangled up, though. Okay. Let's get him off the uh, hook. There it is. Beauty. That is a beautiful fish. And we can keep this one. He's a big hatchery coho. Huh. Okay, we're just gonna balk him and bleed him real quick. And we'll uh, bring him up for the camera. That was a great fight. Oh, wow. Got some... Woo! This is a beautiful fish. 
huge, it's got a little bit of sea lice on there. Huge hatchery coho. Yeah, adipose has been clipped. And this is a big one for a, for a coho here in these parts. This is probably about a good eight, maybe a 10 pounder. Wicked, so we can keep two of these guys. This guy's coming home with me and we're gonna fillet him up. And uh, wow, what a ch that was amazing. A little bit of slow mooring, but we got ourselves onto what we came looking for. This is enough. I might do a little bit more fishing, but anything that we do catch will just go back. It'll just be catch and release. But thanks for sharing this uh, this time with me, guys. It was a lot of fun. And um, yeah, Woo. amazing. What a morning. What a time on the water. Woo. And uh, honestly, like such a cool place to live. So this boat launch is literally minutes from my house. In the morning, I can come out and kayak fish get some stuff done during the day and then come out again for the evening bite on the boat and uh, get ourselves onto another salmon so um, yeah super cool to be living here and uh, again like I'm from the city I don't have a whole lot of experience living in a place like this it hasn't been that long and I'm sure glad that I made that life decision to come on out here with my family yeah I recommend all of you folks if you get a chance come visit Vancouver Island there's so much to see and so much to do here, especially if you like the outdoors. Surfing in Tofino to kayak fishing here in Nanaimo. Anyhow, we'll see you on the next one if I don't see you guys tonight. Phew.